Well, the South Central Football Series Round 2 continues here in Ototahi, Christchurch, English Park, of course, the venue for this match. And it is between Kashmir Technical, who await to play their final of the Chatham Cup. We know that could possibly happen in the new year. And they're up against Western Suburbs, and ironically, Kashmir Tech beat Western Suburbs to make it into the final of the Chatham Cup. So this, I think, has a little bit more on it, Aaron Clapham, than a South Central match might have, mainly because of that Chatham Cup component to it all. But, you know, a funny old day, weather-wise. We've got a bit of overcast cloud hanging around the hills. We've got a bit of rain out there at the moment. We are predicting rain. That won't hinder the players too much. Yeah, no, I think it's an exciting uh, proposition today, especially with the, the game that they played against each other maybe four or five weeks ago now. Uh, it was a very tight, cagey affair with a late goal for Kashmir Technical to win that for Yuya Taguchi, who, who himself uh, returns from injury today. Uh, we'll be excited about this game, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, but yeah. Uh, not the nicest day out there, pretty grey, bit of rain, um, but I don't think it'll bother the, the players too much. A um, little bit of moisture on the turf can help the ball roll a little bit better, I think. Yeah, good stuff. So 15 degrees and we've got that 10k easterly that is getting up a little bit as the sun bursts through that cloud cover. Just talk us through the Kashmir Tech side. Aaron yeah, and goal will be Danny Knight, uh, Andrew Storer, Captain Tom Schwartz, Garbin Coughlin, Samuel Field, Fraser Angus, Corey Mitchell, Declan Tyndall, Yuya Taguchi, Luke Tung and Alex Ballard. On the bench for them will be Harry Rowe, JJ Richards, Keon Donkers, Tom Cairns and they are coached by Dan Schwartz. They are and we caught up with Dan a little earlier in the day to catch his thoughts on this round two fixture. Dan, coming off a hard fought victory last week, how's preparations been this week? Good, there's an excited bunch. Um, I think only, the only thing better than winning 1-0 is winning 1-0 with a late goal. So it really helps momentum to score a late goal and, and the lads are feeling it, so it's good. Uh, any changes from last week's squad? Uh, one, one change from the squad, um, sorry, from the starting team. You are coming for JJ Richards. That's um, purely just uh, we, we expect um, their right back to be their best player. So I want you are against him. Put our best player against their best player and see what happens. Yeah, great servant of the game here in Christchurch, Dan Swartz. But to the opposition, Western Suburbs, really chock full of talent, young talent, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, plenty of young talent on display today for Western Suburbs. Starting in goal will be Key Sims, Alex Clayton, Robbie Sabo, Ben Stroud, a good Canterbury man himself, Ollie Van Russell, Michael Faber, Otto Wingham, William Gillian, Oscar Ho, Ahaya Delaney, one gut kick. And on the bench for them will be Oscar Boyce, Daniel Atkinson, Bruno Penny, Jack O'Connor, Norm Garbett, and they are coached by Ben Sapola. And we'd normally hear from Ben, but today it is the assistant coach and good Canterbury man himself, though, Tyler Logan. We caught up with him earlier. Tyler Logan, uh, assistant coach. Uh, how's preparations been this week, mate? Yeah, it's been good, actually. Um, boys were obviously disappointed with last weekend and the result there, but it's been a really good week of build-up. Um, boys are excited, looking forward to the game. Um, so hopefully a good one for us. Uh, first game on the road, have you prepared differently this week? Uh, I don't think too much changes for us in terms of our week-to-week -week preparation. Um, we're very much based around us and based around our own development, so um, obviously another week ahead, but yeah, very similar preparation to last weekend. And what are you expecting Kashmir to bring to today's game? I think it'll be quite similar to the last time we played them in the Chatham Cup, so the team's obviously quite senior, very organised, um, an outfit that's got a group of experienced players, so for us it's going to pose a different sort of challenge. Um, but one that we're really excited about and we're really looking forward to. I'm sure he'll enjoy being back here. And of course, earlier today in this round two, Wellington Olympic went two from two in the South Central Series and a good win over Selwyn United 4-1. And the match following this will be Miramar Rangers up against Wellington Phoenix. Now last week, of course, Miramar beat Western 2-1 in that opening round. So a lot for Western to come back to. Yeah, yeah, and it's, a, it's such a short competition, obviously uh, affected, as everyone knows, by COVID, which uh, has, has condensed that competition. What that means is that every result is much more important. So you know, if we look back on Kashmir Technical uh, and Tom Schwartz stepping up in the, the 90th minute the other week to, to grab a 1-0 victory, I think that could really prove valuable in such a condensed competition. Indeed, so you've got to put your best foot forward and put it forward fast, but they've got plenty of time in a football match to do that. We're really looking forward to seeing what these two sides will put out there. And as we've talked about, just great that they're playing 
football at this time of the year. And when we still do think about Auckland and the Waikato and the fact that they aren't able to partake in this, but this is what's happening and we're grateful for it. Yeah, we've got to make the most of the situation we find ourselves in and it's, uh, it's been really pleasing to see New Zealand football do their best to make a competition happen of any sort. So for, uh, for the players, it's fantastic. And for us as fans, uh, we get to watch some more football which at a high level, which is really exciting. And the fact that they're implementing that under-20 rule as well, that uh, all teams in the league just talk us through the finer points of that under-20 rule. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the under-20 rule and, and what, it, what it enforces for a club is that in each starting lineup they must have two under-20 players uh, that, that start that match. Uh, and it's been really pleasing to see throughout the year a number of different players involved. So today for Kashmir Technical, there you'll see uh, Alex Ballard and Declan Tindall in the starting lineup. Alex Ballard's 17, Declan's 19. Uh, and uh, for Western Suburbs, a part of their remit as a club is they, they develop a lot of players through the Ole Academy. So for them, they have a, a number of players there. Chris Bennett will have the whistle in the match. Michael Love and Mike Killick on the sideline for him. And if we need any extra help, Aaron Nottage is there to give his assistance. So the officials and the two teams line up and have a look at the crowd who are now sitting comfortably in the Steve Sumner stand here at English Park. And the players now will take their positions. Of course, Kashmir Tech in the gold and blue. They'll be going left to right in the all-important toss. And Western Suburbs in that black strip with the red through it. And the old fist pumps. And I'm sure the quality and the manner in which this match will be played, if it's anything like last week, will be top notch. But it was exciting, actually, that match. And uh, I, I guess the Kashmir Tech people, with all those opportunities they had to score, would have been wondering if they could get one away. Were you confident? Uh, no, I wasn't, to be honest with you. You know, you watch a couple uh, slide by from players that usually tuck them away quite easily. And I, I won't name names because most of them are my friends. Um, <laughs> but you expect them to put them away and it doesn't happen. You think it might be one of those days. Uh, but I, I was also pleased for Selwyn, too. You know, they had, a, they had a fantastic achievement to make the Southern League originally and then went on a really strong run last game of the Southern League. They're 1-0 down. They need to win it. They scored two goals in the 90th minute to get themselves in the National League. So for them to, to stay competitive uh, right through 90 minutes with Kashmir Technical and even yesterday um, against Olympic they found themselves at 1-1 uh, until a couple of late goals that made it made it 4-1 to Olympic. So really pleased that it's competitive for Selwyn as well. Oh absolutely and, and that's what we love about sport that it allows a club like that as young as it is to come through believe and give uh, a playing platform for them to take their game even to different levels. Yeah, it's fantastic to see. Yep. So we are ready for a start in the match. Western Suburbs will have position to start with, as mentioned, going left to right. And Kashmir Tech, Danny Knight just getting back in the goal for Kashmir Tech. And we're looking forward to the goalkeeper for Western Suburbs, Keyes Sims, outstanding young 18-year-old has played so much minutes in football this season, but here's someone to watch. He's on the rise, that's for sure, as the first couple of passes for these two sides. And round two, South Central Football Series. See what happens early on. Just coming to terms with the little easterly that's blowing across the park. I guess they'll be looking to see whether that changes the ball once it's in the air. They'll be happy to see what happens down here. Good to see Ben Stroud turning out for Weston again. Here he is, collecting the ball now. Of course, we're used to seeing him in Canterbury colours for the Dragons last year and in Christchurch club colours, but here he is plying his trade up in Wellington. He actually spent a couple of seasons at Cashmere Tech himself as well, so familiar with the the green and yellow of Kashmir Tech for him. Absolutely. It's one thing that people like to move around, don't they, to get the opportunities that they can to progress the game as they want to take it. You see Delaney on the ball there, a formula, former Canterbury United player, and he was actually a player missing from that semi-final match. Um, that young Bruno Penny playing up as a striker who's normally a midfielder himself. So I think that could make a big difference for Western Suburbs is having that focal point of the attack in Delaney today. Stroud gets the ball back into the middle and still now able to take the ball through a couple of passes, make some 
yardage. Kashmir Tech looking to get a bit of position in the early stages. But already, I mean, I hadn't seen one gut kick play before. Western Suburbs wearing 22 on his back. Wow, what terrific skills he's got. Close ball skills. Yeah, spent some time with one at uh, Team Wellington when he was there a few years ago. He was a very young player then, um, but ha had terrific potential at that time. You know, very, very tidy on the ball, very comfortable, and, uh, you know, very rangy player. He was tall and athletic. Yeah, I was going to say, good athlete. I just content to pass the ball around and see what opens up, see if they can get an early touch and an, an early pressure that Kashmir Tech goal. Having to work hard, Oscar Ho. Baber gets it across, Ingham, and back to Stroud. Have a kick through, oh, and it's not offside either, so an early chance that looked promising, but just a little bit too far, easy for Danny Knight to read. Gillian there has made a, a nice run in behind from midfield. But a little bit too much on that, and uh, Knight able to collect. Bit of pressure on him as he exits the ball out wide. Certainly just in the very early stages, Weston controlling the position, but also Coughlin up there putting some pressure on. It's interesting, isn't it, how you start a match and, the, you know, do you make an early statement mm. or find a no of a certain weakness that you can try and exploit? And big Tom yeah, Schwartz a... comes back and uh, cleans up for Kashmir Tech. That was a great goal last week. It really was. It needed something magic and he really produced it. He uh, really tramped up that English park too, didn't <laughs> he? He really made yards. Yeah, he's been known to sneak forward without the coach's permission uh, like that. And uh, every now and then he gets a bit lucky like that and times it well and scores a nice goal for his team. A bit of intensity coming on, hard running. Corey Mitchell. Yeah, he's got plenty of that, does Corey Mitchell. Hard running and pressing and it brings a lot of, a lot of battle. and Gut kit really got his pass away beautifully under a bit of pressure as well. Clayton offloads, finding a bit of space in that midfield, Gillian. Now an opportunity to test out the defence, but mopped up. Oh, that was brave, wasn't it? Going, opting to, did he get a push in the back? It looked as though he was going to head the ball and went low, but he got a push. I hope he hasn't been... Yeah, you're staying down there, Coughlin, under a... A bit of a physical presence that Ben Stroud brings to the game, but I, I think he'll be all right there. Interesting start to the game, Leslie. Mm. Four, four, and four and a half, five minutes into the game now, and if you watch Kashmir Tech locally, they, they, they tend to be more of a front foot team, um, but you can see they're actually sitting back in a mid kind of deep block defensively and allowing Western Suburbs to come on, and, and, and it's a tactic that worked well for them in that semi-final against Western Suburbs, but you don't see it that often from Kashmir Tech. Um, for, for Western Suburbs, they have a lot of fluidity in their shape and formation and they're moving players into space and it's really going to be about how patient Western Suburbs can be and if they can break down that block uh, and ideally look to play through and forward a bit more often than they do. Often they look to go sideways and, and it can take them a bit long to build an attack. Um, but I think that it's, a, it's another interesting kind of tactical affair we have on our hands here. Well, that's always the dilemma, isn't it? Do you become the initiator or do you sit back and, and receive and then wait for your chance? But it's getting pretty willing out there. I thought Ben Stroud, given that he was a teammate of Coughlin's last year, and it was a tough challenge. However, we play on. Here he is with the ball now, the man that got taken down. Garvin Coughlin gets the ball away in the midfield, doesn't quite pick it up, but does he get enough of a nudge on it to... No, so... Back with Western Suburbs. Now that was an interesting little couple of minutes. You could sense that Kashmir Tech were trying to get a bit more possession. You can see there, that's that's the picture that I'm really talking about there with Kashmir Tech dropping back in and willing to sit and engage. Western Suburbs willing to move the ball side to side, but for them it's whether they can play through and play beyond at times to, to really put Kashmir Tech under any pressure. 
Out on the right flank now, steaming up Clayton. Looking to connect up, does get the pass away, but can they worry the defence and just... It's great 1v1 defending from Sam Field. He's a fantastic defender. Still with Western Suburbs. And in that left boot. Yeah, I don't think that kind of tactic is going to have too much success against Storer and Schwartz. They're, they're a big, strong centre-back pairing. That, that kind of delivery isn't going to be too effective today, I wouldn't think. Well, since last year and when the um, National League and Provincial one I'm talking about, you know, Andrew Storer and Tom Schwartz were really, they really grew as a partnership, didn't they? Yes. They hadn't played a lot yep. together yep. and I think um, Storer was playing for a different club. Yep, they've become quite a, a formidable centre-back partnership between the two of them and uh, Storer himself has done a great job of, over the last year, probably becoming a bit more athletic, a bit more mobile than he was previously, uh, which has really helped his game. Absolutely. You've got to want to play the 90 minutes plus sometimes, but at Western Suburbs still stringing the passes together, looking for that opportunity forward. The young team chock full of exciting football talent from the capital city. Got a bit of rain coming down here at English Park as well. Just a bit of drizzle. The forecast certainly said we could get a, quite a bit, but that hasn't happened, thankfully. Good crowd, as much as COVID allows. The football faithful. Yeah, there's a strong, strong football community down here in Christchurch, so it's good to see them out in the Steve Sumner Sand supporting the game today. Yeah, good cross from Stroud. A bit of work to be done if they can get that shot on goal. Doesn't seem to be holding the ball up in the air, the easterly, not like last week. And that had a, quite an effect. Stroud, happy just to get the team plan going and the formation and getting the amount of position on the boots. There it is, out, out on the left. Happy to go back, set it up again. Now that long speculative kick forward. And again, Kashmir Tech just happy to pull the ball down, deny. Got some pressure coming on. Oh, wow, that's again, Coughlin got another <laughs> strong challenge on him and they'll get the free kick as well. Yep. So they're targeting him, aren't they? Yeah, strong challenge at the back there from Clayton. I think that one was maybe a little bit fairer than the other one and, and got a little bit of ball in that. But uh, Coughlin's not shy to throw himself down on the ground. But there he is showing the real strength of his game, finding the ball in pockets there and combining with teammates. I think the one-two going out on the left flank. Coughlin gets it back, walks a couple of paces, does a little mesmerising jink. And a chance early on to test out the corner defence from Western Suburbs. And a chance for Kashmir Tech. Yeah, a few big boys stroll forward now, which is a bit of a worry for Western Suburbs. You know, we spoke about Storer and Schwartz, but Sam Field himself uh, yeah, at left-back today, but he's played a lot at centre-back too. He's a tall man, isn't he? Yeah, so you, you were right. They certainly fill out that box. Watch for six. There's Tom Schwartz running towards the ball, but oh. across the face, you could hear the gasp of the crowd. I don't know yeah. if uh, I certainly did. It's a great ball in there from Taguchi, and I think it's Stora there who's uh, just outside of his reach. Well, take him as uh, Sims plays very quickly, but turns the ball over yeah. to Luke Tung, and it comes straight back at them. It was too quick for his own team. Yep, Corey Mitchell on the attack now. Yeah, quick, isn't he? Oh, look at that magic skills. Technically, he's so good, isn't he? Yuya Taguchi and Goffler now has the ball. Has a shot, but it gets well blocked. Mitchell. No, this is the opportunity that they want now. Tech, after just sitting back and looking to see what Western Suburbs are going to put on them early, store it. And that might just be a bit far, is it? Yep. Got to try it out. Under good pressure there from Van Rysel, unable to pick out Tyndall. Yeah, starting from the back again for Western Suburbs. Yeah, and you see Kashmir Tech, they're not looking to press. They're going to go straight back into that, that mid block in the middle of the park and, and try to be difficult to break down. It's going to require a little bit of extra work on Western Suburbs, part to 
continue that during the game, isn't it? If that's if they continue with that structure, mm -hmm. Kashmir Tech, they're, they're having to make all the play. Stroud looks up, looks left. He's put a couple over to the left-hand side, but opts for the, the pass. And the whistle for Western. Yep. Another one of the many talented young players in there for Western Suburbs, uh, Otto Ingham. He plays as a wide player, but you can see him coming inside and looks to get on the ball uh, as often as possible and try and combine. He's a, a talented, talented young wide player. And Russell with the ball. Has a look up and see the congestion of the players and two clumps right on the edge of the box with that left boot now curls it in and oh an opportunity but went wide wow that made something from that set piece yeah it's a great delivery there from van Rysel, and it, i think it was a cashmere tech player that's ended up flicking that on and ben stroud snuck in at the back post there and got away from tom schwartz oh, here he is again just van stretching Ru for the ball but not Rysel. quite there look at him van Rysel still going still over there can testing having another go so yeah, a little bit of a late challenge there on uh, Fraser Angus but he, he doesn't mind the uh, the physical stuff Angus so he won't have a problem with that I don't think I've seen a couple of challenges already big challenges a couple on Garvin Coughlin the striker for Kashmir Tech and this time just booted downfield literally yeah not the finest moment from Angus there <laughs> Garvin Coughlin tries to cut off the pass back. Just pushing a little bit higher than what we've seen him. Now Stroud on the move, over halfway with the ball. Through the midfield again. Gillian and can't find that extra pass. How often do we say that? <laughs> It's the, one of the most difficult things to do in football, that, is to, to find those little pockets of space, turn, face forward, and to be able to break the opposition down. But I've, I've, I've been impressed with Gillian so far. He's been very active, made a couple of nice runs in beyond, got on the ball in different areas of the park, um, but just not quite able to connect there. A goal kick, Danny Knight, performs so well in goal for Kashmir Tech. He's got a role within the club as well, hasn't he, as goalkeeper coach? Yes, does goalkeeper coaching throughout the club, so a good servant to, to Kashmir Technical and football in our region uh, for a number of years, Danny Knight. Ball now again with Western. They're happy to really take on the, being the initiators. And out wide now to Clayton. Gut kick. This time well picked up and well mopped up field again doing the business out on the left yeah the 1v1 defending is his real strength there it has it now out on the right what magic can he conjure up he got the pass away and the lovely bit of individual skill waiting for the whistle was he Gillian oh well blocked out Andrew Storer putting his body on the line yeah Van Russell found a little bit of space there was able to get inside of both Ballard and uh, Tyndall and Got a strike off from inside the penalty box, but it was well blocked. Game's almost, I was going to say, come alive probably isn't a, a fair thing to say, but it had a bit more intensity there, a bit mm. more opportunity for Western to convert the position that they've had. Western suburbs from Wellington. As we mentioned earlier on, went down 2-1 last week to Miramar in the opening round. So close matches, and the ball then finds their player, but again the cover defence is read well by Kashmir Tech. Fraser Angus doing the right thing, coming back and helping out the defence. Throw in with Weston. Just taking it back, trying to bring the players forward, stretching it out, taking it across to the other side of the field. Stroud looks right. Shape to go left, decides to go through the middle. But well read, well cut off, and Coughlin just can't drag that one in. Looks likely, reads it well, doesn't he, Garvin Coughlin? Just that little control, that finish.
we've got some changes to the shoot. Western Suburbs, they're originally looking to play that quickly, uh, but slowed it down, probably after the success of the, the last free kick from a similar area. It's uh, surprising, though, to see Ben Stroud standing on top of this one and uh, not trying to get on the end of it, but they elect to play short. Well, they've done it pretty well, haven't they? So far, linking up in that midfield, but it's these opportunities that they're creating at the moment. Kashmir Tika, well, mopping them up. But they're looking likely. You can see what they're trying to do, Weston. Yeah, it's really interesting tactically, Western Suburbs. If you, if you watch them, they play with very, very high fullbacks, and it brings their wide players kind of inside, and that creates overloads in those central areas. And it becomes difficult for teams like Kashmir Tech in a, in a kind of sit, sitting in a deeper block of who picks up who because of the variance in their movement. So it makes it quite interesting tactically. Stora has it for Kashmir Tech out on the right side. Shimmy and a little bit of impetus now from Tech as they bring the ball up their right flank. Looks with more momentum trying to find Coughlin. And what have we got, another corner? Yep. Nice combination down the right there. So Luke Tung at fullback. I uh, was able to combine and get the ball wide to Declan Tindall, who plays a very well-weighted pass here to Coughlin. But Stroud across in cover, clears that out for a corner. And the big men move forward again. Store up. Schwartz. Angus is up there as well. For Kashmir Tech, here comes the kick. And Coughlin very acrobatically brings the ball down and a little half volley speculation kick and that does just slides off the boot doesn't it he tried you could see what Ballard was trying to do with that kick but yeah, it just got the spin on the top of the foot we saw a series of miss kicks there I think um, Angus and then into Ballard and then into Tyndall um, but initially nice play from Coughlin to control a bit of a wayward corner and get the ball back into the back post to Angus Hoff on the ball as he plays it across to Van Rysel. And that's what I was talking about, the positioning. Van Rysel was actually starting as a, as a left winger, has found himself in one of the deeper midfield spots there looking to, to combine and play. That fluidity of movement that you'll see from Western Suburbs throughout the game. Yeah, quite a tall, rangy player, Oscar Hoff. Been quite prominent in the early stages of this match. Again, they press forward. Weston again, just happy to hold the ball. Yep, and you see Van Rysel there again, popping up again at centre-back. And then you see gut kick at the moment, pulling out to the right full-back spots. Mikey Faber's got himself back in to a more centre-back spot. So it makes it really interesting to, to view and analyse, and it makes it really tough for Kashmir Tech to, to make those decisions around who's responsible for picking up who. All about communication, I guess, in the end is what they've got to do. Now, I've had seen this just a couple of times where it's just slightly misdirected pass back, but again, well contained. And that ball through, no offside. They were claiming it, Kashmir Tech. But again, accurate defending from Kashmir Tech. See them come away with the ball up that right side. Yeah. Another really nicely timed run uh, in beyond by Gillian and the ball just not quite there for him, but well read by Luke Tung, who's able to tidy up with the help of Danny Knight. Bit of pressure on Knight. Ehi Delaney coming through. But it's back out on that right flank again. They've made a bit of progress when they use that right. Do Kashmir Tech, can they get the shot away? Some great play there from Kashmir Tech and probably their first sustained little period of, uh, of building out. Uh, and Danny Knight's done well to stay composed and play a ball out to, to Tung. And they're able to basically break down when uh, Western Suburbs have overcommitted to a press there and a, and a nice opportunity for them to get forward through a uh, young player, Declan Tyndall, and the ball's just rolled out for a corner. They play it short to Tung. He's certainly got some speed, hasn't he, Tyndall? And tr looking to try and keep the position and keep the ball locked up there at Kashmir Tech, having to work hard to keep it. Corey Mitchell with it now, and Knight coming well out of his goal, wants to be a field player. Yeah, both keepers today, Danny Knight and Key Sims, are uh, capable of uh, playing nicely with their feet, which is which is what the modern keeper needs these days. They need to be good with the ball with their feet. 
You want to be in the game too, don't you? You, know, you, you want to be part of it and <laughs> yeah, I don't contribute. Know how they do it. <laughs> yeah, apart from being a defender, first line of attack. Yeah, absolutely. Who wants this from Western Suburbs? Not a lot of movement. In the midfield, right in the midfield. Gillian finds space to play it out to Ingham. Here he is, trying to get a little bit of magic skills going, but he had two tacklers on him. He felt the pressure. Stroud mops up at the back. Again, just no urgency in this part of the game. Doesn't need to be with what they're trying to set up. Look for the players in the structure that they're searching for. A little ball through like this for Clayton to run onto, and we've seen it a couple of times, haven't we? Seems to have a lot of time, doesn't he, Tom Swartz? Exiting that ball. Oh, Taguchi and Coughlin combining. And look at the time, that time from almost saying, where are you, team? Yep, and really a nice recovery from Western Suburbs there. And they continue their, their press as gut kick pushes all the way back into Knight here. And he does enough to want to throw for his team. Yeah, he did. He certainly forced him to go wide, didn't he? And store it. Comes away with the ball for Tech and the ball through to Coughlin lurking out on this left flank this time. Can he make some inroads and get a clean shot away? Haven't really seen a blow on anger yet, have we? As Coughlin has a little left to right, gets the ball across the face, a shot at oh. goal. And in the end, they were able to just deal with it. Yeah, really nice play from Coughlin there. The, the defence weren't willing to commit at all. They kept backing off and allowed him right into the box and he gets across away, away to Tyndall just off balance, isn't able to hit it cleanly enough and it flies over the key Sims post. But interesting from Western Suburbs, they're not really engaging with Coughlin. There seems to be a bit of fear around his, you know, his, his dribbling ability, his ability to create. Well, it's those things you talked about in terms of who takes who. It's the communication, isn't it? Being a, You've got to be so definite early. Who's taking who? Where do you run to if you're not? Well played by Clayton there, breaking the pressure of Mitchell. Driving inside to Delaney. And they get it back. The home side now through Taguchi and Coughlin takes a space, guards it well. I think they're disappointed with that, Weston, but they've won it back. That was outstanding from Hoff. Got a little poke tackle in, but they've turned the ball over again. Looking for some space. Taguchi controls it well. Technically very good, isn't he? Yuya Taguchi. Yeah, they've missed him the last few weeks. He's been out with a, a little bit of a knee injury. So this is his first game back and straight back into the starting lineup, which really shows the value that he brings to the team. I think um, that's probably three or four where Ben Stroud's come through quite physically from, from the back of a, an opposition player. And I think the ref's probably had enough and put him on his last warning now, but, but no yellow card at this stage. Still having a chat to him. Chris Bennett with the whistle today. And just chatting with uh, Ben Stroud saying, come on, we want to keep all the players on the field. But you can imagine, you know, when you're playing against your former players, there's always a little bit of extra uh, angst, you might say, or a, a point to prove maybe. Chance here. Out on that right flank, a little kick back, and can they get that clean shot at goal? No, they opt to go back wide, across the face again now, and doesn't really threaten the defence. Yeah, Mitchell did really well initially to flick that onto Tyndall, and he found himself on the ball just inside the box. And, you know, just attribute-wise, it's probably not the strength of his game. He's more of a ball winner, uh, destructive player who, who's uh, able to win the ball back for his team. And of all the Cashmere technical <laughs> attacking options that they have with him, it's probably not the one that they wanted on the ball. So here we start again from the back. I've only seen really some hard running when either team have had an opportunity, but through the midfield it's generally been pretty sedate like it is at the moment. He has to move a bit quicker this time, Ben Stroud. Retrieve that. Has a look up, looking for the through play up. Oh, it's a great delivery from Stroud. But Van Russell not able to connect on that in the back post. He was looking, you could see him, good body balance looking up, 
keeping control of the ball, getting the kick away. And in 27 minutes, nearly gone in this first half, second round fixture, South Central Series. Coughlin comes back and puts a bit of pressure on Clayton, who's done well in the early stages. Uh, both players just trying to get the ball that time and nothing in it. Delaney, he'll know these players as well, being played for the Dragons. Now, Yu Yataguchi has a look over to the right. Schwartz calls for it. In the middle, has a look up. Options forward. Coughlin, nothing in it. No, he will get the, just a tangle of legs, I thought. Yeah, a bit of experience from Coughlin there. Takes that first touch across Ingham. Ingham coming in at pace. Really had no choice but to, to, to run into him, really, more than, more than give away a foul. Um, but that's enough for, uh, for the referee to blow the whistle and, and create a set-piece opportunity for Kashmir Tech, which y you can see that they're really keen to make the most of these opportunities. They're not trying to play them quickly. They're trying to get set up and, and get good delivery and, and get some of their stronger aerial players uh, involved. Luke Tung with it for Kashmir Tech. Has a look up. And a low, flat ball in. Makes some connection. Three headers in a row and a shot at goal now. And again, wide. So creating opportunities, Kashmir Tech. Yeah, really good set piece delivery from Luke Tung there and uh, Sam Field able to get a little touch on that and then that scramble and, and panic in the box. Uh, led to a shot from Coughlin, which deflected out for a corner, which uh, Taguchi will deliver. Back live and a good bunt away. Oh, that's an excellent header too. What wonderful skills under pressure to get that ball out over to Gutkit, but they just cannot hold on to it. And they really feel the pressure again. Another attack being mounted by Kashmir Tech. So turnover in a really crucial area. The ball across and a big left boot getting it over the back. And another corner. See Robbie Sabo turning on the ball here, and they're not quite able to clear under pressure from Tyndall. Angus does well to get the ball across, and blocked by Mikey Faber out for another Taguchi corner. Now this is where it starts to add up a little bit, doesn't it, in terms of that pressure that you're feeling, what they're able to put on Kashmir Tech. On this young Western suburb side now, the ball and it hangs in the air, but easy take in the end. By Key Sims, read it well, went mm. high, great athlete. Yeah, the linesman's got his flag up there. It must have gone straight out um, and then curled back in from Taguchi's corner. Wind playing some apart or just misdirected? Yeah, that might be flattering to Taguchi <laughs> there. <laughs> Hoff has a look up. They've played a lot of ball around this area, haven't they? in the f opening 30 minutes. Yeah, it's a little little area of the park that's a bit of a stalemate. You know, Kashmir Tech is saying, we're not going to press out of this block into that area. And Western Suburbs are kind of trying, trying to draw them out. Well, it looks good when they get that ball forward. Ben Stroud then uh, looked as though he was going on a run, but he held back, delivered the ball. Uh, players having to react, not quite going where they want it to to set up. Sims comes right out and again showing the footwork that he's got as a field player. And that right boot. And that's where communication is pretty important too. Kashmir Tech players going back, one back pedaling, easier for the person in behind to come through. Yeah, Luke Tung's got himself in a good position nice and early there and is able to head that away and he's played a nice driven ball down the line to Taguchi. He has got some space, and we know he's got terrific footwork. Has Yuya Taguchi, can he get that cross? Waits for the cavalry mm. to arrive, and he has to work really quickly to get and keep that ball. Across it comes now, and straight into Sim's grateful hands. Yeah, Taguchi did well there, but disappointing to see no real hunger from the other Kashmir technical players to get themselves in the box. You've, you've got Mitchell and Coughlin and Tyndall not really probably doing enough for my liking there to, to get in the box and get on the end of something. 
No, that's the, one of the issues, I think, when you are watching this team, and that's what they're basically doing, standing in their structure, Kashmir Tech, mm -hmm. but you almost get reduced to being a spectator and, and bringing yourself back in for that 50-50 ball requires you to read it early. And I think if, you, if you're going to go down that path, once you have the opportunity to go forward, you, you need to bring some intensity to that and have that real hunger and desire to, to get forward and make the most of those you know, fewer opportunities to be on the ball and getting forward. Stora, happy to nod it back. Yeah, great composure from Stora there. Take the sting out of the game by hitting it back to Knight and goal. Oh, putting some pressure on Tom Swartz, Coughlin. I see Tom himself wants to get forward. Score another goal. Memories of last week. He's doing it a bit earlier this week. Well defended by gut kick. I mean, to be fair to him, in the last 15 minutes of that last that match last week, he did push himself forward. It wasn't a lone, <laughs> yeah. a lone range, but it was just the speed. I'll never forget it. The speed that he came through from that halfway line <laughs> to see where they were going up on that left flank and to get the ball back and yeah, be in the right spot. A strong understanding of the game and recognising the timing to do it is, is what Tom has. These young players have done a good job too, Western Suburbs. They've certainly kept their composure and they've posed a few questions of the more experienced Kashmir Tech defenders. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a very evenly poised, you know, 33 minutes so far. Yep. And again, through Gillian, we've seen some skills. We know that they're talented, this young Western side through that player. Hoff, 17, he's wearing. Stroud gets it now. Moving up the field, delivers well. Clayton, he's been busy. It's an all fair tackle. Oh, Gut has the ball, but can't do anything with it. And Coughlin now gets the pass away. The one two passing. So sometimes just does enough, doesn't he, Garvin Coughlin? He knows what he wants to achieve out of a particular passage of play and, and doesn't do anything more than he has to. Yeah, and you can see there he's nice and composed and he's experienced. He knows in that situation he's able to, you know, combine a little bit or maybe even just, just draw a, a throw in, uh, which can help break that pressure. Now out on the right-hand side, can they get that ball across Weston? So Hyatt Delaney on the ball, found himself uh, out of the middle, out on the right. Ingham facing forward, unable to combine. That's an easy one for Danny Knight to clean up. Oh, a bit of frustration there from Ingham too. He thought that someone should have been on the end of that pass. Found the little avenue for it to go into the box. Look at this, Tom Swartz. He's got that mesmerising dribble up that midfield. Combines with Coughlin now. The two of them, they're still there, the big men. And back it goes. And that's Coughlin and the Wilbos again. Yeah, again, I think it's uh, a bit of experience from Coughlin. He's, he's slowed himself down with gut kick in a tough position where gut kick doesn't really have anywhere to go, and he's, he's trod on him a little bit there, and I think that one will, that one will probably hurt a bit for, for Coughlin. Gee, he's been in the wars, hasn't he? Drawing the fouls. Yep. yep there's a few... A few good free kick takers in this Kashmir technical side as well, Take but I think this might be a, a little bit out of shooting range. Yeah, this one is taking quite a long time to get up. We've seen a couple where he hasn't bounced back up. He got pinged early, and that was a, a back issue, and a couple on the legs now. Let's watch him after this free kick where he goes. Has he become involved? He's still taking a long time to come right, isn't he? Needing a bit of time. Anyway, defensively for Western, they've got themselves organised and the ball through. Ooh. And in the end, did he get a touch on it? He did. I thought it might have been a bit too far out, uh, but Luke Tung's really fancied that and it's a, it's a fantastic strike here with his laces. He strikes across the ball and outside of the wall and Sims get across uh, really nicely and might have just got a little touch, but I think it was probably going just outside the post, but a really nice strike by Luke Tung there. And we uh, return to another Taguchi corner. Yeah, absolutely right. I think it probably was going wide, but you just can't be sure sometimes. And perhaps just the edge of the keeper's gloves on that one for Kashmir Tech to get the corner. It's a good one, but it's uh, 
headed out and now quick out of defence through the left flank. Youthful legs moving quickly for Weston. And back in. They certainly know where each other are on the pitch, the young Western Suburbs team. Hoff. Been very prominent, hasn't he? His role. Yeah, he's really built in. Uh, probably didn't touch it for the first five, ten minutes, and then he's really built into the game, sitting now more as a six in a holding midfield spot with uh, gut kick and Gillian probably being a bit more flexible in their positioning. Clayton with the ball out on the right, gets the kick away. And that was almost a couple of one-twos. The ball, some good skill in there to keep control and keep possession, more importantly, for Weston. I get the impression that Weston fancy their chances here. A little bit of luck, ball to roll exactly where they need it to. Stroud brings the ball through now, looking for the ball to come back to him. It does so. Clayton asking for something, but doesn't get it. Coughlin, a bit more sting in the match now. The intensity's just built up in the last couple of minutes, and the pass out wide is accurate. Bit of pace coming through. Coughlin back in the action. He's got over the leg, little leg injury, or wherever it was anyways, back in action. Good to see Mitchell. And Stora and Tom Schwartz gesturing to their players ahead of him. Again, we're back to the two deep defenders for Western Happy just mm -hmm. to bunt the ball around, bring the ball forward, and Stroud shapes to find someone out left but keeps it. And these are the, the passages of the game where you start to see some, some things maybe open up. You know, we're in the 39th minute now, so six minutes to go. From a Western Suburbs perspective, you hope that you're able to shift the opposition around so many times that they're getting tired and fatigued and mistakes happen. A, a Kashmir Teka going, all right, maybe this is the stage where they overcommit and get too many players forward and we can really catch them on the counter-attack here. The pressure coming on again, and that doesn't quite go where Danny Knight wanted it to. And that was because of the pressure being put on by Ingham originally. Good understanding of the game. Tussle, and the ball goes forward for Coughlin to run on to. Uses his uh, hands and body there to get go. through. Here he is, a bit of speed up that right flank. He's got Taguchi out onto the left, and then a big tackle from behind. Taguchi's got an opportunity, and in the end just puts it straight at the legs of Clayton. Promising run. Yeah, that was that was exactly what we're talking about there with Western Suburbs over committing a little bit. And um, Coughlin able to probably muscle Mikey Faber off the ball. Mikey Faber might say that it was a bit of a foul. Uh, Taguchi found himself in the box with a great opportunity. He's gone with the toe poke, interestingly, and uh, not able to, to quite get that off to the full extent. Oh, Ingham putting a lot of pressure on. Uh, certainly not going to let them get the passes away easily. Not going to hang back and wonder what if... So what are we into the 41st minutes, first half action in the first match of round two, Wellington Olympic 4-1 winners over Selwyn United. Two wins in a row for Wellington Olympic. And the match following this one, Miramar Rangers and the Wellington Phoenix. That's at three o'clock. Stroud does really well. Originally Taguchi was able to bring the position back to Kashmir Tech. To Great challenge by Hoff. Yeah, it was wonderful, wasn't it? And in the end, again, that just experience defending was the difference. There's a fantastic recovery from uh, Alex Ballard there. Uh, not from Alex Ballard, sorry, from Luke Tung. Uh, it was Alex Ballard who got caught on the ball initially and uh, shows a little bit of his immaturity at 17, uh, turning blind into Hoff there, who does well to release Delaney. Uh, but Luke Tung with a great recovery there to, to challenge and win the ball back for his team. So the attacks, we've had them both ends. 
and you just feel that there is just starting to be the intensity. I mean, I think back to that match that we did last week, the Selwyn Kashmir Tech, and that was full of running, hard, hard tackles. There was a, a bit of uh, you know, more than friendly rivalry in it, mm. but the, the momentum in the game was massive, I thought, and yep. the willingness to, to run, and it, clearly that second half belonged to Kashmir Tech, and as you mentioned earlier, had to wait till the 91st minute to get the winner, the only goal of the match, but it was a very entertaining match. Speed, now they're picking up the pace. Kashmir Tech not hanging back. Looking to push forwards, Sam Field. Getting some advice from the crowd, Kashmir Tech are as well. Wanting to see a bit more action, I think, some of them. And he knew as soon as he kicked that ballard, he threw his head up in the air and just too much on it. A passionate supporters group, Kashmir Technical, that are used to seeing their team uh, win and be successful. And uh, they can get a little bit impatient at 0 0. Well, lots to go in the, the game. Chance at goal and smothered going down, reading the little bounce into him. Keys Sims. Good early ball from Angus into Tyndall, who gets a shot off early, but uh, Sims pretty comfortable there. Watching his deep defenders, Sims, he marches out of the box and would be urging them on through Ingham. Gets the ball away again on the left. Gutkit was looking for the return pass. It didn't come. Goes back. Hoff. Enjoying what he's doing out there. I'm sure that he's loving being part of this, having such a key part to play. And well, that time, trying to ensure there was no corner to defend. Yeah, Danny Knight's done well there. Some, some nice pacey delivery that Sam Field hasn't really dealt with too well. I think that's bounced off his shin. And uh, Knight's done well to keep that from going firstly into his own net, but probably more likely out for a, for a corner. seen too much of that individual play from one gut kick, have we? We're waiting for something to be unleashed. That's the feeling I get. No, I think it's probably been uh, overshadowed a little bit in midfield from uh, Hoff and Gillian, who have, uh, who have performed quite well in midfield today. Yeah, agreed. Still early on. Stroud this time looking for that left side and just a little bit too much on it. So you want someone to Run hard onto that, even if you think it's not, you're not going to get there, at least have a go right to the end, stay in it. Bit of rain falling, bit of drizzle. And into the last minute, I suspect, unless there, there has been a bit of stoppage time, hasn't there? Mainly for Garvin Coughlin in the numerous times that he's hit the deck. Uh, nothing major. I don't think we'll see a big number coming up from the fourth official. A nice work from Ballard for Kashmir Tech. Out on the right, secures position, gets the pass away. Just the one minute at a time as uh, Corey Mitchell finds himself out on the right in the attacking area. Here comes the cross, flat it was, and a shot at Cole, and he, Ballard tried to half volley it didn't he but again just couldn't quite get it going in the right direction yeah, we see Mitchell finding himself out on the right wing a bit of an unfamiliar spot but really nice flat delivery for Alex Ballard who gets himself forward and on the volley on the run tough technique yeah. but makes okay contact just not quite on target now it's all investment in the playing careers of these young players though isn't it opportunities like that he'll go back and think about it and say what if I'd done this or if I had a bit more time if I'd known I had a bit more time mm -hmm. absolutely and we're getting because of that the the requirement to play two players in the starting lineup we're seeing young players like that have these opportunities on the bigger stages as we get through to half time at zero zero we do indeed entertaining first half both teams with opportunities but in the end, it's a clean sheet for both goalkeepers, and we go to the half-time break. Kashmir Tech nil, Western Suburbs nil.
pleasure on their way Forever's our own, they'll stay Proud and pleasure on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid The brighter days are on their way
I'ma hit the gas once I tap it, I'm gone. Faster than the flash when I get in this zone. Higher than the plane, stay up by my lane. Oh, I do it different and they really can't explain. Let me elevate, let me elevate you. 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 Smoke rising like a locomotive. I'm on my go, so you know the motive. It's like they voting and I'm so to polling. Giving them info like I got the folder open. On a Kawasaki with a Motorola. I'm Samsung and on the open ocean. On the metro chasing escrow. You backsliding while I breaststroke. Sidewinding, I'm high rising. I'm so fly that I'm skydiving. It's no problems, there's no hiding. Got other things that I'm worried about. Man, I'm be gonna breathe, trying to get into the mood though. Hop into the whip, got my mind on my paper. I wouldn't be mad if you wanna get it too, yo. But I ain't got time, so I gotta see you later. They think that I'm soulless like Tupac Pitch. Should me rolling. Yeah. I'll be music composing while trying to open this lotus. I'm like a camera that's trying to capture my purpose is focus. Yeah. You out of options, I'm like a doctor. I'll double the dosage. Oh yeah, I work with the medics. I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetics. Hope you can't go where I'm headed. What? That'll get you ejected. What? On this level, I get it. I'm trying to double my credit. Yeah. I'ma hit the gas once I tap it, I'm gone. Faster than in the flash when I get in this zone higher than the plane stay up by my lane oh I do it different and they really can't explain players back on the field it was back and really for this game to be broken wide open because it's nil at half time and there's been some careful build up by western suburbs catch me ticket from wide with some opportunities of their own but I guess what we're really waiting for is uh, something just dynamic to happen that will just break it open and, and, and increase the tempo of the match, Aaron Clapham. Yeah, I don't think we've seen uh, any great opportunities in front of goal so far. It's been a pretty tactical and cagey affair with uh, Kashmir Tech willing to sit back. Uh, Western Suburbs happy to keep the ball and finding ourselves in a little bit of a tactical stalemate there. The best opportunity is probably coming from set pieces for Kashmir Technical. Uh, and Western Suburbs have had the odd opportunity looking to deliver early, but those are generally quite easy for for the likes of Storer and Schwartz and Knight to deal with at the back. But uh, I think we'll uh, see a couple of substitutions that hopefully will have a bit of an impact on the game. You know, you look at Kashmir Tech's bench and you see JJ Richards and Lyle Matheson, you know, players with plenty of National League experience that I think we'll see come on pretty quickly. And uh, some young, talented players on the bench for Western Suburbs. You know, Bruno Penny played 90 minutes in the semi-final against Kashmir Technical, so I think we'd look to see him come on and have an impact on the game as well. Ben Sapola, Danny Schwartz, who would be the happier of the coach after that first 45? Oh, I think they'd probably both take it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think either of them would be thrilled, um, but I think they'd both be OK if you said before the game, look, we'll find ourselves at 0-0 zero, zero, uh, oh, coming early, to the game. Early chance for Kashmir Tech. They have swung into action quickly. Yeah, nice early ball from Coughlin in behind for Tyndall, uh, unable to bring that ball into control as it slides off the wet surface here at uh, English Park. We have had quite a bit of rain in the first half, so I think we'll certainly see a bit more of that, and there's, there's still some more rain forecast. Yeah, there is indeed. Actually, if uh, once those Kashmir Tech substitutes come on, they certainly had a big warm-up in that half-time break out there the entire time, just kicking the ball around, having a run around. So they'll be ready for it. They're the only ones that we saw, apart from that group of young players who we all love watching in the halftime break, having a go at scoring and uh, <laughs> just seeing the little skills that they ha exhibit and dreaming of their time to get out on a surface like this and play in the big league. Yeah, a few under-11 Kashmir Tech ball boys out there, which is really pleasing to see. Luke Tung finds himself getting forward. It falls to Taguchi on the edge of the box. A different complexion at the beginning of the second half. The first half, the start of the game, it was all Western Suburbs. a chance, and the left leg of Key Sims gets thrust out. And some early pressure for the Western Suburbs defence to contend with. So that's a big difference from the beginning of the match to the beginning of the second half. Yeah, nice play from uh, Garbin Coughlin. Uh, chopped inside Clayton and, and driven ball hard across the face of goal, which Keith Sims was able to deal with with his feet, and it nearly fell to Tyndall, but uh, Hoff did well to clear that in the end. Sims unleashes and good purchase on the ball, as they usually do get. And it will stay with Western Suburbs. So their opportunity now, I think the rain has stopped, is it? And we can see out a bit further out to the Port Hills, the sun has peeked through there. Western Suburbs though, with possession. 
responding to what Kashmir Tika put them in on them in the opening minute or two of the second half. Faber has the ball been great in the back for Western Suburbs along with Ben Stroud and they've tried to initiate their attack and get the young midfield going and we've I've talked about Oscar Hoff 17 he's played a pretty key part as has Otto Ingham yeah, an interesting looks like a slight change for Western Suburbs with Gillian out on the left and Van Rysel moving further into midfield but in an attacking sense it probably doesn't change too much for Western Suburbs because they have so much fluidity in their in their uh, attacking game he's good isn't he Faber Really experienced defender, uh, Faber, and he's probably one of the few within that squad who's a little bit more mature, a little bit older, had a bit more experience behind him, and he really helps a lot of the young players come along with him. And you can see that, you know, his time on the ball, and he's unhurried, com composure galore. Gillian, we've seen him in action a couple of times. This is a right royal chance at goal now. Oh, and he had to bring his legs into action. Danny Knight, wow, wonderful opportunity for Western Suburbs, and they'll be... Breathing a sigh of relief for Kashmir Tech. Look at this. Yeah, it was Gillian. Those two players combining. Gillian into Van Rysel, who drives a shot away. And I think it takes a bit of a deflection here. It did. And look at this block from Sam Field to del deny Delaney with a great opportunity. A fantastic, brave block. Well, that, that deflection, Danny Knight did well to get his legs in the way of the ball. Yeah, great reactions from Danny Knight yeah. there. Yeah. And here comes the corner kick. Nice and high. And... Again, save on the line, was it? Ooh. A couple of big moments for Weston. Good stuff yeah, from there. Fine them. delivery in from Van Rysel, and I think it's Stroud doing what uh, Tom Schwartz normally does, doing that himself to Tom Schwartz. He's hung up at the back post and got a good header on it. And young Alex Ballard with not the finest clearance, but he's kept it out of goal for another corner for Van Rysel to deliver. Oh, flatter this time. Not as good. Again, not, get another yeah, one. not dealt with that well from Luke Tung that time, and it goes out again for a corner. Yeah, this is what you want to see, isn't it? The pressure, and Western Suburbs coming back at Kashmir Tech. Opening stages of the second half. Kashmir Tech started with a Hisner Raw, now we're back down the other end. Nice height on that again, caused trouble. And corner on the other side this time. Yuya yeah. Taguchi doesn't agree, but it, it will be a corner. Uh, Taguchi's let that roll out, assuming that it was going to be a goal kick for his team, and uh, the referee hasn't agreed, and he has the fi final and more important call. Um, a lot of pressure in the first five minutes here, both ways. It's, it's been good to see after a bit of a cagey first half, a couple of uh, half opportunities at each end. Yeah, well, that's what we were talking about in the halftime break, wasn't it? Ball comes in and connection made, but Ben Stroud just couldn't get it towards the middle of the goal. But handy, this is good stuff from Western Suburbs. They've uh, mm -hmm. responded well. Yeah, we were talking about the game needing to be broken open. Well, both teams have had chances. Oh, it's great forward play by Coughlin to hold that ball up and bring Ballard into play. Tech have it. Looking to mount another attack. Put some pressure on Tyndall and Tang. Back to Coughlin. Handy striker, haven't seen much from him, gets the kick across, but it will be out of play. And you know when players with that reputation that Coughlin has, that there will be someone on him who will mm. have that pressure all the time, as you do as a striker. But Kashmir Tech certainly looking for something more from him, perhaps. Yeah, you know, he's someone with, with great pedigree at the National League level. Um, as we see, uh, <laughs> Key Sims going on a little dribble there as he breaks the press. Probably the first time that Kashmir Tech have looked to press. Oh, this is good stuff from Western Suburbs. Worrying that left side defence of Kashmir Tech. And they are really, when they get that ball, they're pouring forward with momentum, intensity. Yeah, and space willing. out wide for Tyndall, and Goff Coughlin's able to find him here. Tyndall has it out on the right, away from the danger area, bringing it into the box now. Has it across the face? And again, able to be cleared. Delaney back heels it. And 
Steaming up there, and a 50-50 ball goes to Kashmir Tech. Gee, they were motoring those two players, mm. weren't there? No quarter given on that one. Yeah, I think Fraser Angus eyed up a 50-50 with a big smile on his face pretty <laughs> early there. He loves a bit of that. Gee, the complexion on this game has changed dramatically after the second half, and Coughlin's down on the deck again, by my reckoning. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a soft one, that, but uh, Ben Stroud, you know, it's probably the fourth or fifth time he's coming through the back, so he's, he's really asking for that. And for them, this is a very dangerous situation. That, uh, like I said earlier, a number of good free kick takers. Coughlin will fancy this. Luke Tung, even uh, young Alex Ballard is very good on a free kick. He's going to get a card anyway, Ben Stroud. Yep. And he can't really have any argument, even though it's not the strongest foul. The referee was very clear with him earlier in the game that th there's going to be no more of those challenges in from behind. Sending a message, though, as a defender, you want to bring them through staunch. Certainly done that for his side, but now earned himself a yellow card. Ben Stroud around the ball. Luke Tung, 32. Yeah. And the Western Suburbs defence has a look up and sees Garvin Coughlin just adjusting where the ball is. Mm -hmm. So will it be Coughlin or Tung? I think despite Tung's nice strike earlier, it looks like Coughlin's overruled him a little bit here. Here we go. Coughlin has a chance. Oh, oh. did it get a tip from the goalkeeper's hands on to the upright? Yeah, it certainly did. It's a great wow. strike from Coughlin. He's hit that really clean to the near post, as we see here. Fantastic technique. Keith Sims able to get across, though, and make a really nice dive and get a fingertip touch onto the post just to keep that out. Really nice strike by Coughlin and a fantastic save by young Keith Sims. Oh, good football. It's really been lit up this opening stage in the second half. They've come to play and come to attack. Shot at goal. And who else but Tom Coughlin up there this time? He is not in a hurry to get back. He knows Storer is back there. And a good tussle between the young players out there. Ingham. And a few challenges going in here. Yeah, it's a different complexion, isn't it, on the Another match? Another yellow card coming, this one for Otto Ingham, the second yellow card of the match. And two to Western Suburbs now. Mm. Two cards in the opening stages of the second half. They've been told to muscle up Aaron Clapham. Yeah, they certainly have. There's an interesting opportunity there for Schwartz. Fell on his weaker right foot. Uh, might have had a different story on his left, but... Really does enjoy getting into the box, especially on those set pieces and longer throws and, and fancies himself up there. And um, I'm sure we'll see a bit more of him featuring in the attacking box as well. Here he is with the big left boot and a little slice off the top of the head of Coughlin. Good challenge though, good defence. That's a lovely bit of skill as well. And two Kashmir Tech players surrounding him and in the end can't keep the ball. And some injury here, head knock I think too. That's as nasty... Yeah, the referee's been very quick to stop play there and get the medical treatment in play. So hopefully, uh, I think it's Van Russell there. He found himself sandwiched between a few Kashmir Tech players. Yeah, just took a, he'll be a bit blurry, Looks won't like he? he's okay. Yeah, he he's shaking that one off, but I think you'd, you'd rather see the referee be cautious there with a the head injury. Well, he'll have, come, have to come off anyway, won't he, with the physio on? Yeah. Uh, there, it's a sad exit. I'm sure we'll see him back. What? 51 minutes gone, 50. Now, the beginning of this after that mm -hmm. clash of heads. And referee Chris Bennett is coming all the way over to have a chat, is he? Fifty-six minutes, in fact, and into the fifty-seventh minute of the match. Gee, it's been good since half time, though, hasn't it? It's really been ramped up. Both teams having opportunities, and uh, the complexion and the physicality shown by the two yellow, yellow cards against Western. Now they secure the ball out on the left, hard, fast running. Gillian again, the instigator, and still worrying that defence. Yeah, great work ethic from Declan Tyndall to make it back and recover there. But yeah, you're right, it's been a very exciting uh, 12, 13 minutes in the second half. We've had probably significantly more opportunities at goal and uh, half opportunities than we, we saw in that whole first half. 
Kashmir to get the ball away over the halfway line. Ben Stroud's around to mop up, has a little sneaky look to Key Sims, but decides not to go to the keeper. Oh, it's a bit of table tennis play down on that flank, but it's a lovely work from Western Suburbs, keeping possession, but they can't this time. But trying to string the passes together, and again, another heavy challenge. Yeah, some lovely football played from uh, Western Suburbs, combining down the left-hand side there. There's Stroud and Sabo and Gillian combining nicely. At speed. Mm, yeah, it was, it was fantastic to see, but uh, Fraser Angus read it well and was able to break up play. At speed and under pressure. And in the end, just uh, coming off the foot to enable Kashmir Tech to have the ball, but they've oh, it's a bit of turnover time for both teams. That was not a good pass from Taguchi. That's a rarity. As Stroud now exits the ball out on the right-hand side, up that right flank. And they just go back and regroup a little bit of what we saw in the first half. But the first 10 minutes of the second half, boy, suddenly a different game. But the score remains the same as it did at halftime. It's nil all. Tight, tight match. Yeah, this is what we saw in the first half with... Faber and Stroud happy to bunt the ball around between them. Now they come over the halfway line. Good pass out to the left, a little jink to the left. Gut kick off loads. Nice space out wide, so really stretching at it, going from side to side, looking for the forward ball. It's with Kashmir Tech. Nice work by Ballard in there, just linking up. And that's uh, slippery out there. We said it had rained. Player falling over. Have to be mindful of that as well. Look at the speed up on that right flank from Western Suburbs. And a tussle. Tight tussle on the right. Stopped that forward momentum in its tracks. The yeah. Kashmir Tech defence. But it was quick. Yeah, Clayton really showing his athleticism down the right-hand side. But Ballard uh, able to get across and cover uh, for Sam Field, who found himself slightly out of position. Sabo and Faber. Off. Can't keep the ball in. Back with Kashmir Tech in their attacking half. Just. Yeah. Good pressure from Corey Mitchell. And there's a bit of action in the substitute bench for Kashmir Technical. I think we might see a, a change coming fairly shortly. Oh, we noted in that halftime, we talked about the Kashmir Tech reserves having a really good kick around and, and run around. And we note with JJ Richards, he has got a very heavily strapped knee. Mm. Yeah, he took a bit of a blow last week against Selwyn. He was able to keep playing and then push through that a little bit, but obviously not at 100%. Pressure going on Danny Knight, and he just boots the ball away and doesn't keep possession. So good pressure coming from Western Suburbs. Yeah. And they've done well in that department all match. The young players putting pressure on the more experienced opposition. And again, Knight has to come out, collect that back pass and boot it over the sideline. Yeah, good pressure again this time from Delaney, earlier from Gillian, putting Danny Knight under pressure. Not able to play through that and a throw in for Western Suburbs. Cut kick offloads. Ingham offloads to the right and the... Fastest runner on the pitch today, I believe. Clayton for Western Suburbs. Chance now for Gillian, but it's well mopped up. Getting into good structures, aren't they, Western Suburbs? Just the finish is missing. Now we've got Garvin Coughlin taking the ball over halfway for Kashmir Tech. And a nice bit of work from Ben Stroud to control that ball, keep the ball. That's good mm. work and deep defence for Western Suburbs. Yeah, very well dealt with there by Stroud. He was under a lot of pressure from Mitchell. Uh, I thought he was just going to clear that one away, but he's done well to bring that down under significant pressure. Oh. As we find Gillian again in space down the left-hand side. Yeah, they're fencing their chances here, aren't they, Western Suburbs, through the young players and... That time free kick to Kashmir Tech, but they are mounting attacks. They are absolutely giving it back to Kashmir Tech, this young Western Suburbs side. And it is through the young players that are doing it. We've talked about Faber and Stroud at the back, but the young players willing to go forward. And here's the substitution that you talked about. Alex Ballard coming off for Kashmir Tech. Yeah, there's Lyle Matheson coming on, an experienced attacking 
uh, National League player, even in, a, in his early 20s still. He's played a number of games for Cashman Technical's first team, scored a number of goals, and he'll, he'll look to make a real difference here. I think you'll see him go out onto the left-hand side of the park, and uh, Yuya Taguchi will move into midfield. I think it, uh, for Alex Ballard, he'll learn a lot from today. Uh, it's probably one of his first exposures to a, to a really high-level National League-type side, uh, and, and he'll learn a lot through that experience. So if they didn't have that under-20 rule, would he have got so much game time? Uh, I think it's pretty clear that he wouldn't. Yeah, yeah I, I'd be very surprised if he did. Yeah. Um, and, and for him as well, you know, you have to realise that last year he was playing under-17 local football. Wow. So he, he's, he's had a lot to learn in the last year, and he's, he's developing, and he, he'll get better through experiences like this. Absolutely, and he's held his own, that's for sure. There'll be times where he'll look back at some of those uh, shots at goal or opportunities, and it didn't quite come off, but in the pressure and the uh, upping the ante at the higher level... Kashmir Tech just looking to set themselves. This is Garvin Coughlin now with the ball and gets the ball across, but again, well mopped up. And those young players, not only are they deciding how the ball's distributed up the field, they're back in defence as well. Hoff's had a great game for Western Suburbs. Oh, it's a great combination play out wide with Tung. What a ball that is. No one in at the back post to attack it, but Sam Field should be able to keep this in. And he does. And it goes back to Tom Swartz. Taguchi lines up. There's a bit of physicality in the, some of those tackles. And a nice little back heel. That's magic. That is really magic. It didn't get, mean that they could keep possession, but that's the spontaneity of youth, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Kashmir Tech have the ball. I'm going to stretch the defence back out to the left now. Too far. Good stuff. Enjoying yeah. this. Yeah, an exciting little passage of play there. And I think with uh, Taguchi moving into the midfield now, probably somewhere where he's a bit more comfortable than being out wide, they have more of an attacking threat in the front three with Matson coming on uh, and probably a bit more composure on the ball with uh, Taguchi in there alongside uh, Mitchell and Angus, who are probably a bit more destructive in the midfield space. Western Suburbs has structure. And the players have a good understanding of where they need to be, even when it gets pressured. Stroud out, brings it up over the halfway line, takes a couple of quick paces forward, and a little square pass off. They can't keep the ball, Western Suburbs, and looking to move it on to Gucci, slides, but loses the ball. Nice little pass, and there's a foul, and that'll be a free kick to Western Suburbs. A little unnecessary, was it? Yeah, it was a really good initial anticipation from Sabo there to, to win the ball, and... Uh, Probably a little bit of frustration from Fraser Angris. He's come, uh, come across and caught Sabo late. Yeah, it looked it. See, really nice anticipation from uh, Robbie Sabo to come out of his left back position. Looks to combine nicely with Delaney. And uh, Fraser Angus comes across and catches him late. Well, that's what happens, isn't it? When you're uh, working hard to try and achieve, get the goal at the other end, doesn't quite happen. The uh, levels of frustration rise. And now it is Western Suburbs opportunity. Free kick. Yeah, similar spot to Luke Tung's free kick earlier, which I, I thought was a little bit out of range. And uh, he showed me wrong and had a really nice strike. So uh, we'll see what uh, Van Rysel was able to deliver here. Yeah, again, pretty comfortable for Knight. The, the distance probably a little bit too far out for that type of free kick. And uh, yeah, bouncing into his hands comfortably. Into the 67th minute. In this South Central second round match between these two sides, know each other well as Kashmir Tech again look to pressurise that Western defence that has held up so well. Coughlin's cross. And again, just not getting a clear opportunity. Again, Garvin Coughlin has the ball, a bit of a shimmy, and then the left boot straight at Sims. Yeah, nice drive inside from Coughlin there, but on his, on his weaker left side, he still had a. Had a, had a go, but comfortable for Key Sims. Nice play from Corey to keep the play alive. Coughlin drives inside to a nice spot, but not his strongest foot, and comfortable for Sims in the end. Good to be able to kick off both feet, though, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a requirement these days, I'd, I'd say, for most developing players. Um, and you know, what we haven't been able to see much of today, which is a little bit disappointing, 
because of the lack of a press from Kashmir Technical, we haven't been able to see the dribble from Key Sims, which is a bit of a feature of his game and a, and a rarity, actually. Is a, but he, he fancies a little dribble into the defensive areas. Right. But, so maybe in the last 20 minutes we'll get treated to that. All right, well, let's look forward to that. And I guess that we talked about the communication early on, didn't we? Someone would have to take him. So he's dribbling through. He's not mine, they'll all be saying. <laughs> Another dimension. That's the important part. Catch the opposition unawares. Do something different. Break it open. And that control again exhibited by Oscar Hoff. Very impressive. Kashmir Tech now having to go back and defend. And quickly picked up by Clayton. Look, he wants to keep this game moving. Took the throw in really quickly. Narian's arms flailing. They go fast like the legs do. Gut kick. Can he get a shot away? Wants the pass back. Into the middle of the box again, up over the top. And Danny Knight knew where that was going and didn't even have to attempt to save. Yeah, Gillian always looking to drive back inside into a stronger right foot. Manages to get a shot off, but no real stress there for Danny Knight, who's going to take his time with this goal kick, push his team forward, and then uh, look to go long and direct. Nilawal. Game has picked up in intensity since the halftime break, but still no breakthrough as Knight directs that over to the right-hand side. Coughlin gets a little bit of a touch on it. This time, what can Kashmir Tech make of this? Tyndall again in action out on the rank, right flank, gets the ball into the middle, and Taguchi has a chance, and blocked by the deep defenders. Sims went down thinking it was coming to him. It didn't. Coughlin with the ball in the box, jinking his way through, and... Just a slight mix in there, and in the end, goalkeeper Sims was a little under pressure. Wow, a lot of action there with Coughlin showing great composure to chop inside and back outside. Really pacey delivery that Sims wasn't able to deal with. And Fraser Angus making himself an absolute menace there. Not able to get the final contact, and uh, Hoff not too happy about that either, but that's uh, what Fraser Angus brings to the game. Well, I'm needing the physio arm here for that challenge. They certainly won't want to leave, lose Sabo, will they? No, he's had a strong game so far at fullback. But he's not looking too well behind the goal there, but he's off the pitch, so yep. we'll have to carry on. And the physio is heading over to, to offer some treatment now. It looks like Western Suburbs might be getting a substitute ready. Well, they'll need the full complement because it is starting to really threaten yep. Kashmir Tech. Looks like uh, Bruno Penny getting himself warm. Penny historically has uh, played more as a midfielder, uh, but in that last game in the Chatham Cup semi-final, he played as a as a number nine, as a striker, uh, but with Delaney in there. So obviously a lot of versatility to his game, but I'd be surprised if he slotted straight in at left fullback. Well, so we might see a little reshuffle from Western Suburbs to make this happen. Well, let's come because Robert Sabo has uh, got an injury. And that time... Key Sims out of his box, had to come out and head the ball out of danger. He's looked good all day, hasn't he, for Kashmir Tech, Declan Tyndall? Yeah, he's got a nice directness to his game, Declan Tyndall. Pacey. Yep, so it is Robbie Sabo coming off, and it is Bruno Penny coming on. But Penny seems to be slotting into a midfield spot, which he is probably more comfortable with. He's just having a good look around, isn't he, just to see where everybody's stationed. Yeah, it might be Van Rysel, uh moving position again. Started out on the left, went into midfield, and it looks like he's going to slot back in at left fullback. Angus has the ball now deep on the right flank and gets the ball across, but harmlessly. I think this one area that's impressed me from both teams is that fr at the area in front of the goal, that midway, has been protected by the both sets of defences really well. Yeah, absolutely. There's a, a large, large percentage of goals come from that area. Yep. So we've got to make sure that we're protecting it. We just saw a little moment of uh, Keys going on a little dribble there. 
the fans want to see more. Hoff brings the ball through, gets the pass away. Nearly was lost by Gillian, but he's kept it. Gillian, Hoff and Clayton have been so good for Western Suburbs. Here he is again, Gillian with the ball. Who can he find? Shot at goal from the new player out on the park. Penny can't get that ball away. But Stroud is up there to seal off the ball, make sure that they keep it to Western Suburbs. Just to note the scoreboard that you see in the background of the view there does not have the correct time at the moment. It's uh, the 73rd minute of this game. I think the, the rain must have got into it. Gut Gut trying to find his partner and does throw and shot the deflections taken. Action down the other end two minutes ago. Now we are seeing Western Suburbs pepper the Kashmir Tech defence. Gillian finds Hoff. And Van Rysel gets the ball through. There's a big curl on that. And able to be taken out. But again, Ben Stroud comes up over halfway and makes sure that position stays with the capital city side. Western Suburbs. Who is going to break this game open? Will they? Still with Western Suburbs out wide. They're happy to keep the ball. Pushing further up than we saw them in the first half. Faber. That has been a constant. Faber and Stroud. For Western Suburbs. Has has 17. Oscar Hoff. Now Priest coming on from Kashmir Tech. Mitchell challenging and finds Ben Stroud out of position. And Garvin Coughlin, he gets does well. Stroud comes back. And happy just to see the ball go over the back. So that was good work. Yeah, one of the few moments where we've seen Kashmir Tech really apply a, a strong press. And Corey Mitchell jumping out of midfield to put Stroud under pressure, winning the ball back for his team. There he goes again. Corey Mitchell. Must have been given the word. <laughs> the downside to that is it opens up pockets of space and you see Penny getting on the ball and playing it wide to Gillian. Yeah, the little clever footwork and the shot across. Oh, and then Tom Schwartz came across in front of Danny Knight, the goalkeeper. Yeah, great little combination there. As you see, uh, Penny make an overlapping run. Nice timing by Gillian. And a lovely delivery with the left foot. And I think it's Tom Schwartz who just gets a flick on that. It is. Goes out for a corner. Again, to be taken by Van Rysel. Keeper's ball. It's easy it's from calling. up here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> easy. Very easy. We don't have to play the game. Yeah. So for Western Suburbs, what can they find here? What, they, what can they create? 76th minute. Nail wall and a nice high corner. It gives opportunities for Tom Schwartz to get up and head it out. Again, the hanging ball to the back post. Uh, this time Schwartz up to it defensively and managing to clear that away. And Russell having to work hard across the pitch after delivering that corner to take the throw in, uh, who's, uh, as we expected, has found himself in his third position for the day, starting out wide on the left and then into midfield at the start of the second half. And then after the injury to Robbie Sabo, now finds himself at left back. Got to be versatile. Nice ball away. Bruno Penny controls it beautifully. Gets the pass back to Stroud. Again, that familiar setup, Aaron Clapham, isn't it, that we've seen? And they've stuck to their, they've really stuck to their game plan admirably, Western yeah. Suburbs. Chance now for Western Suburbs, is it through Ehi Delaney? Looked as though he might have got a shot away, but couldn't. Good defending from Andrew Storer. Stroud pushes up high again, has the ball, just toe punches it through. And it went uh, just too far that time. Just too much on it. Promising attack again. 
Yeah, and I think you have to, as much as it's not what you've normally seen from Kashmir Technical, it's been quite disciplined. They're not they're not getting out and chasing after the ball too often. If, and if that's the tactical plan, then they're they're executing that quite well. They're being very, very disciplined and uh, not getting drawn out of position too often. And to be fair to them, it was a technique that worked in the semi-final win, where they were able to to stay in and not concede too many uh, goal-scoring opportunities. And then uh, they were able to score late in that game through Taguchi, I think, in the 88th, 89th minute. So. Uh, they've kept faith in that. Nice little flick on from Coughlin. Again, has them scrambling back the Western Suburbs defenders this time down the other end, and Sims has it and gets a good boot away upfield. Good contest. Back with Kashmir Tech in their attacking half. Gets the ball out wide. It's been so good, 17, Corey Mitchell. He's been on the right, he's been in the middle, he's been on the left. And Coughlin delivers and thankfully brought in Taguchi. Very patient build up from Kashmir Tech. Taguchi is challenged and Western Suburbs will lose position. They got it back briefly. Schwartz chests it down, controls it. And finds his marker up the field. Nice one, two, three, four passes in a row here. Nice work. He's absorbing stuff out high on that left side. Four or five passes with the Kashmir Tech players trying to engineer something and just slightly overrun that time. Play on. It's another feature, isn't it, that there hasn't been a lot of whistle? No, and I think that's what the players and the fans want to see as much as possible, is the, the game uh, continuing. It's a bit more press coming from Kashmir Tech because Western Suburbs are in their defensive end. A lot more press than we've seen all game. Now they're really putting some energy into challenging for possession. And he's run all day, Declan Tyndall. But it's with Western Suburbs that's not blown up. So a good tackle. No, really nicely timed challenge there from Fraser Angus. And it's one of those ones that could have gone poorly, but they're able to break through Matheson down the left-hand side. They had the big arm out from Luke Tung out on the right, saying, I'm free. Coughlin has it in the middle and looked to shape to take a shot. And he used his left boot, but he caught a deflection, didn't he? Yeah, deflection yep. off Hoff there. Um, but chopped back nicely inside from Coughlin. He framed for a shot on the right foot. You see him cutting back inside. Hoff's able to recover and get a challenge into flex out for a corner kick, did which well. will be taken by the substitute, Lyle Matheson. And Hoff did well, didn't he? Just to, he looked as though he might have been out of the tackle, but he just twisted and around, a young body, agile, and reading well. Desperate, of course, to keep any opportunity for Kashmir Tech at bay, and that he did down the other end this time with a long corner. Gosh, that was weird, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very low driven ball there from Matheson. I'm, I'm not sure that was actually what he wanted to have happen. I'm sure it wasn't. Anyway, they need to recover. Western Suburbs have the ball again. Uh, it's great, Penny. <laughs> great defending by Taguchi. <laughs> that is fantastic, though, from the young player, Bruno Penny, just trying to hold his own. Coughlin speculates, and Sims is driven to lunging to his right to save that. A nice play by Coughlin, finds himself in a nice little pocket and decides to shoot early. Good pass through by Tom Schwartz. And this is where Coughlin's really strong, finding those little pockets of space. And he's got that striker's mentality where he wants to get a shot off. Um, Sims pretty comfortable, really, to get down and save that. Another substitute for Western Suburbs. And that is a very, very good... What are we up to? 82nd minute for young Otto Ingham. He's off. And Jack O'Connor's on for Western Suburbs. Oh, that is impressive. Again, from the youngster. He would have put in a few Ks for his team. Ben Stroud up that right side. Looks good with the ball. Certainly holding their own, these young Western Suburbs players. 
timing their tackles, keeping control like that. And the new player on O'Connor finds Delaney. He hired Delaney with the ball. Two Kashmir Tech defenders and it'll be a corner. Corner for Western Suburbs. Delaney's done well to hold up play there and uh, found himself trapped in a bit of a corner and he was uh, quite happy just to play that ball off Luke Tung to win a corner for his team, which Clayton will jog over to deliver with his right foot. It's another player that's put in the Ks today on the field for Western Suburbs. Alexander Clayton with the corner. Here it goes. Oh, and a chance too. They put wow. their hands on their head, do Western Suburbs players. That's a fantastic opportunity for Ben Stroud. Their nice delivery from Clayton and Stroud's able to time his run nicely. And I think upon reflection, he'll be quite disappointed he hasn't done more of that. Stora maybe just got across him at the last minute. We see Suburbs breaking forward through Penny. Gosh, they're looking very organised, Western Suburbs. And again, another foray on that Kashmir Tech defence. They are still with lots of running, plenty of running into the 84th minute. The last five minutes have belonged to Western Suburbs. But it's everything you said it was going to be, Aaron Clapham. Tight, not much in it. Opportunities, yes. And yeah, no, I'm glad it's opened up a little bit in the second half, but still a very cagey affair, very tight, very interesting tactical game and a beautifully struck, driven ball from Luke Tung there, which uh, Lyle Matheson probably just wasn't quite expecting. Wow, changing the point of attack from one side of the field to the other. Stroud's big ball through. He couldn't quite latch on to it that time. Gillian over on the other side, just used to seeing him all over the place. So another substitution. And you're right, it is Declan Tyndall this time for Kashmir Tech comes off and JJ Richards with the big bandage on his left knee comes on. Certainly got speed to burn, acceleration. Yeah, hopefully that strapping isn't an indication of a, <laughs> of a serious injury and um, he's fit and able to go because he's a very athletic, explosive, pacey kind of wide player, very direct. Takuchi does well to keep possession. He's got JJ Richards screaming up in front. He's got to be careful. He's not offside across the face and headed away. Keeping possession. Kashmir Tekar inside that box. Who do they go back to? Go back into the middle to Coughlin. Has a shot and just catches Western Suburbs defender point blank range. No, certainly not having it all their own way, are they, Kashmir Tech? Not all. No, definitely not. It's a very even game and a uh, bit of a trend with Coughlin coming into those midfield pockets to get on the ball and uh, getting shots off from, from range. Uh, it'd be nice to see him uh, on the ball a little bit higher up the park, getting on the end of some things. Great early ball from Clayton. Oh, that was wonderful, wasn't it? it? It looked so intentional, not just by accident to control and get the ball across. Yeah, it's stretched. They have, there's been some sweeping movements a couple of passes and we're down the other end still with western suburbs looking to pepper that Kashmir Tech goal Eighty six minute nil all who can find the chink in the defensive armour Fast legs again from Clayton gets the ball across the face and just can't make any contact up high in that goal scoring area for Western Suburbs. Ben Reisel gets the ball, keeps the ball in the middle. Faber's been great. Out to Stroud. They set it up again. They've been doing it all day. Back out onto that left wing area. Reisel takes the ball through, sees a little avenue for him to run through, dribbles it through, store it, does well. Schwartz gets in behind the defenders and 
They had to scurry, did the Kashmir Tech deep defenders. They had to scurry across the face. Yeah, they certainly did. A great recovery there from Lyle Matheson, who's more known for his attacking attributes. But Delaney gets on the ball and looks to combine out wide here with Penny. But you can see Matheson really working hard to get back across. And it's gone out for another corner, which will be taken again by Clayton. Sets the ball, has a look up to see where his players are. They all know, will know where he wants to put it from the corner. And it goes now, and that will be a freak. That will be a uh, goalkeeper kick, looking to get it underway really quickly. Danny Knight, mm -hmm. waiting for his players to get in position. Yeah, Stroud again, the real threat from set pieces for Western Suburbs. Able to get on the end of that one, but not quite uh, the clean contact he'd be looking for under some pressure from Stora. I remember looking at some YouTube footage of him being Stroud over in his American University getting. Winners yeah, in yeah. the same situation. Still a, bit, still a bit of time to maybe see that today from Ben Stroud. The cagey affair continues between these two teams. And referee Chris Bennett just saying to the players, let's just calm it down. A couple minutes of regular time. We don't know how much extra time there'll be. Taguchi gets the ball out of deep defence, Stroud allows it to run back and that partnership that has been superb all day between Faber and Stroud. And a chance now for Western Suburbs, can they get the opportunity? Shot at goal, it's in! It's 1-0, it's Western Suburbs and it's through Gatkick who have broken the deadlock, it's what we've been looking for all match. A fantastic first touch from Gutkick here. And then look at the composure. He sends Storer all over the place. Storer and Schwartz trying to get challenges in. And he strikes through the ball. Bulges the net. And you see him turn off to celebrate. It's fantastic composure from Gutkick, who we, we spoke about early in the game. And he's actually been a bit quiet. And he's really come to life there in the 88th minute. Well, I think the last five minutes, the, uh, you could see the endeavour from the Western Suburbs team and how they were creating more different over on the right, over on the left. And now JJ Richards has it for Kashmir Tech. They find themselves 1-0 down and Coughlin delivers back. And that will be no play on, says referee Chris Bennett. He doesn't want a bar of a penalty. Wow, play. very interesting one there. Yes. From my angle, that looked like a, yep. it could have been a penalty. JJ Richards brought down. But the referee was in a good position he there. He was in a great position and Coughlin's still having a chat, more than a chat, with Chris Bennett. So an opportunity straight away after Western Suburbs. You would have thought in that 89th minute that they have clinched the lead through excellent work from one gut kick. Bit of individual brilliance, composure on the ball, getting the shot away. And here he is again, and getting the ball up in the end of the field. Oh, don't count this one out. Jack O'Connor getting forward. Thought it might have gone over the back line. So what a turn up for Western Suburbs who just a few weeks ago saw their Chatham H Cup hopes dive after losing 1-0 in about the same time of the match. Yeah, it's, a, it's almost a perfect mirror of that uh, semi-final clash with Kashmir Tech winning that one in the 88th minute. And... Uh, you wouldn't want to say they've won it yet because there's, a, there's still four minutes of added time to go in this one. But it could be a, almost a perfect mirror image. Exactly. Almost makes you want a round three. Well, I've just been so impressed. This young player here who's just thrilled us all day. Look at his hard running, taking on the defenders. And we know how experienced they are for Kashmir Tech. And taking them on, gut kick. Can he find something else? O'Connor. Now with the ball, and they'll be happy to keep it up this end of this English Park turf. They've shown at the back with Faber and Stroud how they've been able to hold the ball right from the beginning of the match. Coughlin runs hard up the right flank. He has a little bit of trickery. He's got the ball, and it's Faber and Coughlin. And not happy with that. Michael no. Faber, he thought it was a free kick to Weston. He's done well there, Faber, and I think that has taken a bit of a deflection. And uh, he's right to be a bit frustrated, I think, because this is a, is a great attacking opportunity with uh, Sam Field's long throw, able to put them under a bit of pressure here. Or well, maybe it won't be because he's just been subbed. 
<laughs> Sam Field comes off for Keon Donkers, another young player, 17 years old. Great to see him getting his opportunity out there, a striker, attacking player. Well, he looks well over six foot as well. So, big, tall player coming in for Kashmir Tech. And Taguchi has a shot at goal. Yeah, good flick on from Schwartz on the throw from Tung. Fell nicely to Taguchi. As we see the long throw from Luke Tung. Schwartz flicks it on. Bit of a challenge, and it falls to Taguchi on his weaker left foot. Difficult opportunity there as he's going away from goal on the half volley. 1 0, though. Western Suburbs over Kashmir Tech in the dying minutes of this round two clash. And they needed the win, Western Suburbs, after going down last week to Miramar 2 1. They've played a very disciplined team game today. And they have kept their structure. And they have worried the Kashmir Tech defence. And the young players have just run their hearts out all game. Yeah, a few of them have done really well. I've been impressed with Gillian today, popping up all over the park and getting on the ball and causing problems. Van Rysel as well, who's at left back now, but started out wide. Oscar Hoff. Yep, and Oscar Hoff has had a good game. Yep. Young players showing all why the faith is held in them. And that's just a little bit clumsy and a little bit frustration coming in for Kashmir Tech because Western will come away with the free kick in the defensive half. Goalkeeper Key Sims comes through and says, I'll take this. Yeah, not in a rush. We're into the 93rd and 94th minute with four minutes of added on, so there won't be too much longer in this. So not in a rush, Sims, and he looks like he'll go long. Keeping possession are uh, Western Suburbs. Now, again, they've still got an opportunity, though, to get another one. Uh, don't forget, after this match, Miramar Rangers will be taking on Wellington Phoenix, so stay with us. And again, Kashmir Tech not happy with where the arm's pointing. But they just carry on with their work, do Western Suburbs. Yeah, a bit of frustration there and exactly what Western Suburbs will be looking for in that situation. Uh, a free kick, slows the game down, takes those precious seconds off the clock. And the goal scorer himself, one cut kick, goes forward with the ball. 95th minute. Not till the 89th was the... Uh, any separation on the scoreline between these two sides. They've worked hard. O'Connor gets the pass away to gut kick. He's come alive in the last five minutes when it's counted. Taguchi. Yeah, wayward pass from Taguchi, who's been quiet today. Maybe that uh, injury and that kind of three, four week layoff has uh, shown a bit of rust from uh, someone that we normally see operating at a very high level. So that is it. You can hear referee Chris Bennett signals full time. And Western Suburbs will be thrilled with what they have achieved here today. Turn the tables on Kashmir Tech in the South Central Series. Round two, they've got their first win points and more importantly got one back over Kashmir Technical. They've beaten them one to nil. Sum it up, Aaron Clapham. Yeah, really cagey, interesting tactical affair there that I really enjoyed. Uh, just like the semi-final a few weeks ago, very even, could have gone either way. And in the end, a little moment of quality from uh, one gut kick, which was probably the only really good opportunity in the whole game across the 90 minutes. But he had the quality and the composure to finish that off nicely and uh, win the game for his team. And that's what you've got to do. You don't get many opportunities when you don't have that extra pressure on you. He had to get through two tacklers. But a little bit of mesmerising skill has been the difference between these two sides. Played in good spirit mostly, although there were some ch strong challenges in that first half. But it's been an absorbing, interesting and skillful game of football. In the end, Western Suburbs are the winners. They have beaten Kashmir Tech 1-0.